function f is defined over the real numbers, this table gives a few values of f. So when x is equal to negative 4.1, f of x is negative 5. f of negative 4.01 is negative 55. So they give us a bunch of values for different x's of what f of x would be. What is a reasonable estimate for the limit as x approaches negative 4 of f of x? So let's think about what's happening. To think of a reasonable estimate for the limit as x approaches negative 4, we'd want to think about, well, what does it look like the function is approaching as x approaches negative 4 from values less than negative 4? So that's what we have here on the table. And then we'd also want to think about, well, what does it look like our function is approaching as x approaches negative 4 from values greater than negative 4, from the right? So this is approaching. This is what is f of x approaches x approaches negative 4 from the left. This is what is f of x approaching as x approaches negative 4 from the right. So let's think about it. When x is negative 4.1, we're at negative 5. Then we're at negative 4.01. We go to negative 55. And then when we get to negative 4.001, so we're only a thousandth away from negative 4. We get to negative 555. So this just seems to get larger and larger and larger. And then at negative 4, it's negative 5555. So this is interesting. There could be a scenario where this is getting more and this is getting infinitely negative as we get close to negative 4. And that negative 4 then jumps back up to negative 5555. Or this is a situation where we are at negative 4, we're just kind of approaching this value right over here. It's unclear based on the information in the table. Now let's think about what's happening as we approach from the right. So at negative 3.9, we're at 5. Negative 3.99, we're at 55. Negative 3.999, we go to 555. So this seems to be getting larger and as we get closer and closer to negative 4, as x gets closer and closer to negative 4 from the right, it looks like f of x is getting larger and larger and larger. It's not going more and more negative. So as I mentioned, if you wanted to think about scenarios of what might be happening here, and we don't know for sure because remember, when we're using a table, we're just taking samples. So let me, let me draw what could be happening here. We, once again, we don't know for sure just by sampling. Once again, they just want us to get a reasonable estimate. So that's the x-axis, and that is the y-axis. And we, we care about x equals negative 4. So let's say that this is, this is x equals negative 4 right over here. x equals negative 4. So there's a couple of scenarios. There's one scenario where it's doing something like this. where it's doing something like this, where it's just going to negative 5,555. And so this isn't at the same scale. So there's this scenario, where this right over here is negative 5,555. But then from the right, you're doing something completely different. You're, or not completely different, you're going in the opposite direction. So from the right, it looks like this. You're just getting larger and larger and larger, just getting more and more More and more, you're, I guess as, you're, as you get closer and closer to negative 4 from the right, maybe you're going to positive infinity, or maybe you're going to, well, we don't know. It, based on this data, it looks like it could just be going unbounded to positive infinity. And then right at negative 4, you go to negative 5,555. In this situation, you would have no limit at x equals negative 4. Even though the function is defined there, you would have no limit. Because when you approach from the right, you're going to positive infinity. When you approach from the left, you're either going to negative infinity or you're going to the value negative 5,555. Another scenario that might be happening as we approach from the left might be something like this. It might be approaching, it might be approaching negative infinity, and then you just jump back up to this value right over here. So let me erase this one just so you can see what I'm talking about. So this is another scenario that right at negative four, so from either side, it looks like you, are, you have an asymptote going on. So from either side, 
you have this vertical asymptote right over here. So as you approach from the left, you're going to negative infinity. As you approach from the right, you're going to positive infinity. But right at negative four, you're defined at this value. So this is another possibility. But in this case as well, there's no limit here. You're, you, you're not approaching the same finite value from both sides. Now one thing that you'll sometimes see is if people think that, okay, if you're approaching the same, you know, either on, from both sides you're approaching positive infinity or from both sides you're approaching negative infinity, Sometimes people say, oh, my limit, is, my limit is infinity or my limit is negative infinity. So let's say you have a situation like this where from at some value, you, and you're, you're thinking about the limit as you approach, as x approaches that value, as you approach from either side, you're going to positive infinity. Well, formally, you still wouldn't say the limit is infinity because a limit formally is a finite value that you are actually approaching. So in any of these scenarios, especially the scenario that we see here, where you're going to positive infinity here, negative infinity, or you're going to negative 5,555 here, the limit does not exist. So let me just circle that.